Hi, I'm at the Academy in San Francisco. My cocktail is a vodka martini with a twist, and we're confessing about therapy. So I'm actually quite proud to say that I've been in therapy on and off for the past 10 years. I put myself in therapy when I had my first child back in 2008. Just kind of wanted to clear up anything that might be residual from childhood or college and other similar traumatic events. Um, and a friend of mine recommended a therapist who was not available. So I went with the next best guy. And my first tip would be always stick with your word of mouth referral. Anyway, I started with this guy and even though I didn't know what I was looking for because this was my first time in therapy, something was off. His body language was off. By sessions three, four and five, he was yawning a lot. I brought him my postpartum first world problems and he kind of poopad all of them. And I was like, all right, this is fine. I, I got it. I can do this. Fast forward to a few years later, I had another child and I had moved countries again. That was kind of the thread in my life. And this time I just went down through my insurance and I went to my location and I picked a name that sounded good. Do not recommend that approach, by the way. Anyway, so I waltzed into this office and the waiting rooms for therapists are always really interesting because no matter how secure you are, you always use the people around you as a barometer for how fucked up you are. So you're kind of looking around and be like, oh, he looks really messed up. And oh, she looks, she looks kind of normal. He looks really messed up. Maybe she's not a very good therapist after all. So by the time you're done analyzing all of that, you definitely need therapy. So I walked into this room and the therapist was turned away from me and very Freudian straight out of a movie had me lie down on the couch away from her. And then there was silence for about 15 minutes. And at first I was like, okay, you know, I'll take a few breaths. I'm, I'm, I'm now a veteran. I've done this once before. I know what's going on. I'm trying to center myself. And as the minutes pass, I'm fairly sure I took a nap. And then finally she awakes me with a booming, Kamna, where are you now? For better or for worse, I have a sense of humor. So I could have gone anywhere with that answer. But I was kind of taken aback. And that was her centering process. And then I suddenly realized that this is London and Kensington and that 15 minutes was costing me a shit ton of money. So the next time I went in, I was like, hey, can we just kind of skip the centering? I'm doing that on my way over. And we did. Um, but still, it really wasn't working for me. Um, I will say though that with therapy, that is often the case. You have to give it a few goes before you decide yay or nay because it takes you and the therapist a little bit of time to kind of settle into the relationship. So maybe it's like dating and by date four with this one, I was like, all right, it's not working. You're not getting in my pants. I'm not getting in yours. Let's get out of here. Um, I did, however, later on find somebody who I was very comfortable with and had great chemistry with. And the thing with therapy, if you're truly, if you truly want to do the work, you have to find somebody who can call you on your BS. And this woman could do that. There was nothing getting past her, except for the time when she fell asleep on me. And that was awkward. And I did say to her, I was like, are you sleeping? And I shook her up, very elegant British lady. And she was like, well, I'm not my brightest. And then I realized that my story was so fucking boring that I needed to change. And there you go. One way or the other, therapy moved me forward. Um, today, I actually see a therapist as well. And what I've discovered is that my needs have changed. So I need somebody with a more versatile toolkit. I need somebody with a little bit more spirituality. So I would advise when you are thinking about therapy, here, here are my few tips. Number one. Try and get a referral from your friend for somebody that they've seen and they liked. It's better than just going cold off the internet. Um, number two, it is about chemistry, but, and this is number three, at the same time, you also have to give it some time for the relationship to take. Number four, do the work. You can show up to a therapist and sit in the chair and not be willing to reflect and not be willing to grow. And then that's just a waste of your time. 
So consider this an investment in yourself and really dig into the recesses and make room for change and evolution because that's what it's all about. Cheers. This is Kamna from Kamna Live and this is your destination for BS Free Conversations about all the things you care about. If you liked what you saw, give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel, potter around and see what else we have here and of course tell your friends. Cheers.